What's up? What's up? That's what I'm talking about. Justin, what's up, buddy? Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to pull in a second camera here. We're going to start this off right. It's happy hour. Let's go with the webcam -y cam here. Let's get a view of the table down there. Let's see if I can... Oh, wait a minute. Squeeze that in this big old mess of stuff right here. All right, so what we've got is the payday shot slash cocktail. We're gonna take uh, butterscotch schnapps. All right, we got some old smoky. There's gonna be a lot of interference behind my voice when the noise gates open because I've got like 8,000 devices running right now. All right. Here's the shot. There's my puppy Jax. Turns eight years old next month. Yes, he was named after Jax Teller on Sons of Anarchy. Uh, all right, so we got the butterscotch schnapps, the caramel vodka. Or wait, no, I did the peanut butter whiskey, sorry. <laughs> peanut butter whiskey. Peanut butter whiskey, sorry. Peanut butter whiskey. Now the caramel vodka. Then the butterscotch schnapps in equal parts. You can make it into a shot or a drink. You know how we do it around here, though. Boom. All right. So we're going to try this. Let's see how it goes. How's everybody doing? I've got some ice cubes in there. Mix it up a little. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's better than this sound? <laughs> um, if you're in the... Let's see if we can get... Let's drop this link real quick in the Rebels chat. Let's see what's going on in Rebels. Come on, Rebels. Shark Aquarium. Put it in the Shark Aquarium. Put it in Rebels. All right. Put it in the monkey lizard chat. Going fishing. Here we go. Okay. So it's called the payday after the payday candy bar. Let's see if this, if there's any truth to it. Oh, damn, it smells delish. Wow. I got to take this in for a minute. Mm. <clears throat> you should be able to hear some PlayStation sounds there in the background. Talk about some Star Wars stuff. So cheers to everybody. I hope you had a good week. Cheers to an even better weekend. Um, Yajnavka, Prost, all that good stuff. Mm, no, Yak Samash. That's it.
Black, that was for you. The payday shot. <laughs> Woo. Let me let me let me rattle that off one more time. Where's my shit at? Black, I was watching your video of your unboxing a minute ago. I still gotta finish watching it. Thank you for posting that, sir. Oh damn, I lost it. Son of a bitch. We'll get it back. Here we go. Okay. Equal parts, butterscotch schnapps, caramel vodka, and peanut butter whiskey. And you can put a chunk of a payday candy bar on top if you want. But what's better than this sound? <laughs> All right. Hot damn. That's worth the price of admission right there. Woo. Okay. So last night was a test stream and we were talking about collecting vintage and I pulled out the yak face. I gave her my yak face. General Kenobi, what's up, brother? Tomorrow morning is going to be another stream where we're going to finish up Jose's custom order diorama panels. And I'm going to make something special for my homie down in Texas. Um... But we were talking about this guy last night because in my hunt in the last 17, you know, I'm still looking for him and I missed him by an hour in my budget from a trusted seller that I've dealt with several times. And I was just remarking that I really like these retro series because they're dead on. I mean, you want to talk about Stan Solo and something, that's the source right there, you know. Um, but he came all over the world as part of this he was he was in this set you see him right here and they did some cool uh cool artwork here there he is from the movie you got all the guys in the movies right now she's an oddball though because all of these other ones were original figures but her so i don't really like when they do that with these new retros because they didn't exist. It confuses me. It makes my brain hurt. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. Who we got first? It's like uh, it's like when they do the card breaks and they open the cards. It's a trap. He took the drink. I mean, that right there is just a dead nuts. I could hold up the original to him. He's got the staff and everything. You know what I mean? So let's leave him up here. Just right here. I'll put him down here. Um, what else we got? The ERG? I mean, perfection. Like, if you're trying to round out your collection and you can't find a good one, just go get one of these. Who's going to know? I mean, I'm sure it says 2023 or whatever on the hindquarters. You know, these things are dead nuts, buddy. Dead nuts. Tickle my like button. Um, check out, check this dude out. Mr. Wicket. Everything down to the tip of the spear with all the little markings on it and stuff. Because if you go back in my videos, on my ret on my vintage um, videos, when I when I talk about him, the tip of the spear, there's some there's some variance there because uh, one of the other Ewoks carries the same spear. So there's little things like that to know, and they and they nailed it on these. I gotta hand it to Rick, Left Coast. I give him props every freaking time I talk about these things. I had no interest in them because I didn't really care for those the the vintage collection series. But these are dead nuts. I love them. Rolando, what's up? Driving. Man, you drive a lot, son. Drive safe, buddy. Hope you're doing all right. Okay, so so here she is, um, Mon Mothma. Um, I guess it's kind of like what it would have been, and they gave her Leia's blaster, which I think is kind of cool. So, yeah, okay, I admit. I'm a simp. I like it. I just I don't like those episode one the episode one versions that just came out recently, but I like these old schools, but I like her too. It's got the return of the Jedi card and they've kind of cleaned the cards up a little bit. Cause I used to have them looking like total trash. 
<laughs> Lack is in encouraging Ro to drive fast and take lots of chances. Don't listen to it, Ro. Um, so, yeah, I'm a fan of this, though. Like, I like this. So I might have to get rid of some stuff and just buy into more of these. But I like the box that they came in. You know, it's got that old school vibe to it. I dig that. I dig that a lot. I'm going to slide her back in. Um, thought they did the Gamorian, didn't they? Yeah. What did I do with the Gammy? There you go. Oh, I put him in the cabinet already. Let me get the Gammy. I'm like, wait a minute. I knew there were six in the box. Hold on. Let me grab the Gammy. So we're so the theme that came up last night, somebody said uh Thank you. Somebody said um toy stories and I thought that's what we'll call this, toy stories. So my toy story is I was that kid who who didn't know what he didn't know. You know, I went to the store, I saw Luke, Han, Chewbacca, Leia, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan. I was in a tunnel. I didn't see all these other ones when I was older, you know? So, I never had this guy. So, this is the original. This is the old school OG right here. Gamorian. You know, look into his eyes and then push him off a cliff, Boba Fett. Um, but look. I mean, you be the judge. This ain't the Robin Hood mold. Remember? They had the the Robin Hood, and they used the same mold and just changed the head for uh, John the Baptiste or whatever the hell his name is. Gap, what's up? I'm just not looking at the chat. You guys are silly heads. So sillies. Um, but yeah, Lack, thanks for posting that video, brother. I'll be back on it later. I was watching uh, the bunker, the um, Ray kit. What is up, man? I'm showing some figures. I'm not even on here at the moment. I'm back here. <laughs> uh yeah, I was saying, like, look at this. Here's the original. Here's the OG. Here's the OG. If I can get my face out of there. There's the OG. And then look at the look at the retro collection. I mean. That's awesome. I think that's awesome. But he came as part of uh, the box of six here. I think I pre-ordered these last year on um, either Hasbro or Amazon. I can't remember now. It takes so long to get stuff anymore. And basically, because I wanted this guy, Yak Face, because he's like four to six, four hundred to six hundred dollars. Um. You guys, if you're not subbed up to Ray Kit and you like chill ass dudes, that game, go over there and sub him. He's awesome. I'm in the army myself. Um, but so my 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 low on this is 400. My high is 600, and I'm hoping to get it for the low or lower. So I find it on a guy who I've bought from several times. Page yesterday, and I missed it by an hour. So. This will have to suffice for now, but I'll be okay with it. And just as a reminder, today's drink was the payday. 
equal parts butterscotch, schnapps, caramel vodka, and peanut butter whiskey to be enjoyed as a shot or a cocktail. Should I have called today cocktails instead of Toy Stories? So, Blue Harvest, what's up, my brother? Um, the only original trilogy carded figure that I have is right here. Um, it is on the 77 back. There's the back. Which is kind of cool. But it's this guy. He's kind of <laughs> he's kind of a sorry bloke. The B-Wing pilot. Not to be confused with his ultra expensive brother, the A-Wing pilot. Um, this one has the free Anakin Skywalker action figure sticker on it. So there's guys that look for, you know, all of the figures with those stickers on them. But that I got him I got him about a um, year ago for 125. That's about what they're going for. But what was special to me was look at the price tag. Let me move the gammy here. I don't have my other camera set up. Look at look at the price tag if you can make that out. Kmart, baby. And when I was a kid, that was that was the only store locally that had these. Kmart. So I'd be tugging on mom, like, hey, I need I need another farm boy. We we melted another one. Uh, <laughs> and I never you know, again, I never had this guy when I was a kid. I just stuck to like the first twelve, really. Probably a lot of people did, you know. Um I think one character that they're going to shove down our throats coming up, though. Um, I know a guy. I know a guy in the chat that really likes this series. And I only have a few things from this series. But I do have an ad at Walker from this series. Um, Lack. <laughs> Lack. Lack doesn't want to hear it, Mark. Um. This guy right here, I think he is going to take off in popularity in the in the older toys like this one. I was lucky enough to get this for eight dollars. I think if you can find these going forward, once more things progress with him in the in the shows and in the lore, um, it's probably going to take off. And I believe this one's even special, be more special because inside this package is a 3D diorama that you can unfold and display him on. Lack, I think I bought some of these for you over here. This guy, didn't I send him to you once? You you had me buy him for you? And um, Leia or something, or the princess? I can't remember, but I, I just, I don't know. He's one of my only other carded guys um, from this, other than my saga stuff. Yeah, I think you do. You do have a bunch of these. But I think he's going to take off. Um, I'm wondering if we're going to see that snake, that Force-sensitive snake that can like make it so he's not susceptible to the force or whatever mind tricks. If that's going to come into play in the show, be interesting because they make, you know, they've got it on him and it was always such a big thing in the animated and everything. And then, um, last night too came up the ship. Somebody asked like, what other things do I collect? And then I was saying, well, I don't have like the vintage version of a couple things. Like, so this, the B1 here, this is not OG. This is a 1997 or 2007, might be 2007, Target exclusive. And it's supposed to have a Celestin pilot, not, not this guy, who I would have preferred with it. I have a couple of them loose, but I did not know. So on the OG, where's it at? Right here on the originals is actually a battery door. And I never knew that because I didn't have this when I was a kid. And I believe the button's back somewhere back here and you can hit for noises and stuff. But yeah, this one does not have a battery door. And I was, I was really upset because I didn't know that. So the original ones, this pops off battery door. Um, and then, uh, where's it at? 
you twist and the wings come up for your bombing run. So they had these were in, was it Last Jedi, wasn't it? Where you saw them at the beginning making their run and the girl, that's when Rose dropped the piece of the necklace from her sister and all that stuff, right? Jeff Whitty, what up? Over there in, uh, what are you, in Thailand? Or something crazy? Oh, Korea, okay. Good morning, brother. So this, so this, uh, I'll still probably try to get one of these vintage. Um, these are cool. There's so much little stuff that they did on these that that people dig into, like what's the symbol mean on the wings and stuff in the cockpit. You know, um, they could if you watch that cockpit, it's just like the ship that that Lack opened today. It has the same kind of feature to it on the uh, what was it called again, Lack? It was the, uh, what was it called? That wasn't a B-Wing. That wasn't these? The Outrider, yes, sorry. I'm pretty sure there were some B-Wings, wasn't there? There wasn't no B-Wings in uh, Last Jedi at the beginning? And, wrote, and it was slowly going over, and they were going to drop their payload. Yeah, but, well, then what was it in uh, Last Jedi, then? So then this would fold. So you spin this, folds down. Uh, where's it at? Then there's a button. Hit the button, and landing gear is supposed to pop. It's not cooperating. Little bastard. I knew I should have bought the old one. There it is. So then there's the landing gear. It'll sit right down. So then the, the Celestin, Celestair, Celestin, whatever it's called, he goes in the cockpit and then he's got the, there's like a little nubbin where his like air hose will plug into down there by the seat. Otherwise, it's pretty much spot on. The B wing is a fighter. The Y wing was the bomber in the OT. I kept. I thought these were bombers too. Taiwanese hookers. Man, Marcel, what's up, brother? New style bombers. Hmm. Mr. B, what is up, sir? Thanks for coming in. Um, did you guys get these though? Did you did you pick these up? Did you pick those up from Utini Designs? Get your ad ads. Are you doing that stream tonight still? He might be doing a stream tonight. What's he calling it? The bomber in Last Jedi was the MG100. Well, hey. Excuse me for eating a gummy before I watched it because I needed something to dull the pain. So anyway, a T-wing. Are you sure it wasn't a Z-wing? <laughs> uh, get one of these from Justin at Utini Designs. He's going to be on a stream, I think, tonight maybe. Um, oh, and I lasered this, so I was playing around. I made those panels for you, Jose, if you're still out there, but I was playing around with my new engraver and I got my logo on my i on my AirPods case on the front and the back. Came out. Another thing that was big this week. Everybody was talking about um, the 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 new game coming out, Outlaws. So I have the PSN um, with the monthly tiers. I have the highest tier where it gives me all the games. I was going to show you guys all the Star Wars games. It's kind of crazy how many are in there now. They still don't have Galaxies, but Robert, it's like an international party in here tonight. Thanks for showing up, guys. I appreciate it. 
Before we go any further, though. Let's give out some more memberships while you guys are all here. I give out my memberships, and then you guys get notified when I'm doing streams. Sometimes I'll do uh, special streams just for you guys. I'm getting back into things. Um, I took a few months to kind of clear my noggin. You get special merch available only to you for purchase, as well as discounts on shipping only for you guys and you also get if you're in the chat and I do a giveaway you get an extra chance at the giveaway tomorrow I'm doing a giveaway in the morning so let's go to membership gifting and I'm gonna do 10 memberships so if most of you are wondering how you even got one in the first place this is how you got it <laughs> I make my own money no uh, all right so they should start giving them out awesome um, you can hear it but you can't see it the alert box yeah where's it at let me put it up there in the front there it is um, somebody messaged me they were pissed off that they got a free membership from me Captain Spaulding haven't seen you in a while brother what's up hope you're feeling better um they said that uh, they were not a subscriber and they got a membership from me. And I'm like, I'm not sure that's how it works, bro. <laughs> so Thomas McBraver, uh, it'll just keep popping up there as it gives them out. But let's let's take a look at this real quick. Let's take take a look at these games. Um, let's see. Can I add that on here? Where's that at? Media source. No. What the heck is that? Let's see. Would it be a browser? No. Hmm. Let me go back one slide. Let me see if I can copy it. Oh, yeah, you can copy it. Here we go. There's another one. Who that? Who got that one? Um, gaming. There we go. Alert box. Awesome. Okay. So check this out, man. You got... Here's everything that's in the library right now. So you got Outlaws coming. Yeah, Jedi Survivor, Battlefront 2, Battlefront, Squadrons. Squadrons was a tough one for me. I, I just couldn't get it down. You got uh, Super Star Wars Pinball, Star Wars Demolition, Jedi Fallen Order. Um, then these are for purchase. Republic Commando is pretty cool. Bounty Hunter is all right. Jedi Starfighter, Dark Forces Remastered. Ooh. And Racer Revenge, I think, was the pod racing in that one. Uh, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed Part 2, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, The Phantom Menace. We might have to play this bad boy. We might have to go in there. Uh, Rebel Assault 2, The Hidden Empire, Skywalker Saga, S Star Trek. How'd that get in there? I didn't do that, did I? Some expansions here for Battlefront. Uh, Rogue One Scarif was added. That's kind of cool. Um, Tony Gilroy uh, this week made a statement. Speaking of Andor, he said that this would be so large in size and scope and importance that it was it was everything. It dominated his life during the production for the 24 hours of finished episode. Uh, footage so what does that all mean I think it just means it's going to be like Andor season one um, like Rogue One it's going to have the cinematography is going to be off the hook it's going to be awesome the storytelling man I tell you what it was like every episode of Andor 
they t- they took the writers in a room and they held a gun to their head and they said, "You write this like I'm going to pull this trigger, or we're not putting it on the screen." Because there was no, I didn't ever feel like any episode was filler. I was waiting for some little crumb or piece of this mystery in there the whole time. Uh, and it kind of hits you after the fact, after you watch them. Some people thought it was complete garbage. I get it. Um, and it took me a couple times to watch through to kind of catch little n- nuances, little details. And Andor... You know, the first couple episodes, there is nothing in there that tells you it's Star Wars. If anything, it was kind of like Blade Runner-ish. Got Minecraft Star Wars available for purchase for 8 bucks. Solo uh, Lego <laughs> for 2 bucks. You got the complete Saga Legos. Um, and then a bunch of Star Trek stuff. But uh, there's quite a bit of Star Wars gaming in here. But this Phantom Menace, guys, let's. I'm, I say we uh, we're gonna have to boot this up. Is that a little too? Is it beneath us? Is it too basic? I want to relive the glory. Man, it looks pretty rough though. Um. <laughs> Diamond merchants flex, my man. What is up? Let's uh let's tip it up, guys. Let's tip it up if you got it out there. Cheers. Let's have a good weekend. I I saw the thing about Scarif and that got me on the kick about Andor. Um I don't think I have a workshop cam set up. Nope, there we go. I got corrected on the B-Wings being in the movies. That's cool. I appreciate it. Um, what do you guys think of that, though? We talked about the... Uh, you know, what, He's deleting himself? I want to see what he wrote. He probably called me out. <laughs> uh, um, we talked about the collecting. We talked about some of the stuff in my collection. Um, what what do people think though of Andor season two coming? Any anybody? I know. Um, I remember seeing Marcel talk to somebody about that on a stream. I know he was pretty passionate a few times in responses about it. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I was like, man, I wish they would have put this out first before uh, Rogue One. You know. Mr. B's pump for it. See what I mean? There's like this there's like this arc of Star Wars storytelling that we have now that we haven't had in a long time. It's like some people think some of the shows are on the level of the Christmas special and then you've got the animated that nobody wants anything to do with and some people love and then you've got the films kind of towing the line in the middle. Then you've got some shows that are kind of serious, kind of hokey and then we're on the other end of the spectrum, super serious with Andor. Espionage. The, you know, the empire. The, the political thing. The, the machinations of the, of the emperor. And uh, he had to play those games. Yeah. Zombie. Is he out? Is he going? Ah, he loves that golf, doesn't he? And it's only probably 110 Fahrenheit there. So don't sweat too much. Drink water. Every beer, after every beer, have a water. Be good. And don't be cheating on your card. You know, if you got to grab a cup of, wake yourself up a little bit. Do what you got to do, Robert. Give him the goods. Up the irons for him. The nine irons. Oh, man. So it's, um, this is a good, this is a good Friday drink, but man, is it sweet. Good grief, is it sweet. But I'm going to have some more anyway. So I've got some Old Smoky peanut butter, whiskey, moonshine. That's going in there. Got the butterscotch. That's going in there. Blue is here? 
Did I miss blue? Where's blue? His little shark ass was in here and I didn't even see him. Oh, is he calling Mark Blue? There's the vodka part. <clears throat> Uh, Mark's also, so um, if you haven't subbed up to uh, Blue Harvest Toys, please go do that. And then he also has a history channel that's kind of cool. Strike the word kind of. Very cool. How about that? Make sure you sub up to that too. And then, and then tickle his content with likes and super chats and gifts. And make sure you get under there. Kind of cool. Yeah, that came out bad. I didn't mean that. I, I miss. I, I do that all the time. It is five o'clock somewhere, brother. Out at your place, probably not. But five after something. Um. Road five canteen this Sunday. Um, we've got. Uh, how do you say his name? Kozuch, coming in. And he builds the big stuff. Six o'clock. See, you're already after the hour, my brother. So here's another thing. So last night I was talking about this vertical streaming and regular streaming and all this crap. Um, there's another feature that YouTube has that's kind of cool. And it's almost, they steal ideas all the time, guys. It's straight from Twitch. Twitch has those things called raids. Where, you know, you're all here in mine, and then we all say, hey, Rolando's doing a stream in an hour. Let's stay on here, and then we all go over there and, and show him the love, right? Well, now they've got it where you can link somebody else's stream to yours, and everybody in your chat at the end of your stream, when you end it, they just appear in that other stream. Um, so at some point, I'm going to figure that out, too. That ought to be pretty cool. Then you could really have some cool stuff where you could have, like, your favorite people you watch could all talk and work it out. Hey, we're going to do this show. Then we're going to do this show. Um, this guy will be on StreamYard on both of them. You know, craziness. It'll be awesome. Nasiratu Nika for $20. What? Bro, finding the deals. Finding the deals. I love it. So a couple years ago, I don't know. So right there is the trash compactor. They would they called the the monster the trash monster. Then they called it the, the Dianoga. But did you know that it's a she? And she has a name. I did a, I did a video on this a long time ago, a couple years ago. Her name is Omi. And when they were building the Death Star on planet and putting things together, she got into the pipes with her mother. And her mother was the big one and she was the little one. And I think that's how they explain the big, large red eye that's in the movies, but she's green. She's supposed to be the baby. She stayed in the pipes. And then when they would compact the trash, she'd go in the pipes. And when they'd open it back up, she'd come back in and eat. And that's how she survived. And she was about to grub on some Luke Skywalker. If it wasn't for them pesky kids. It's cool being hijacked. <laughs> yeah. Captain's got some crazy stuff going on. What's left, brother? Do you have any canvas left? Are we going to be seeing some butt cheeks on Instagram soon? I mean, what what's what's going on? I see the I used to I remember back in the eighties, maybe yeah, it was eighties or nineties, somebody had this book and it was these dudes in prison who tattooed their dicks and balls. I mean, phew, you talk about some tolerance for pain. Bad enough on your on your skin on your body. But you're gonna get your uh you're gonna get bat wings on your bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. 
You can get some uh, beef curtains on your beef curtains. <laughs> oh, bro. From, from the neck to the toes, huh? You got time, brother. You got time. Lifelong journey. Put the whole story on there. The whole story. <laughs> hey, you make some dollars right there to pay for the tats. For the ink. There you go. <laughs> uh, his his uh, Spalding fans. Would I get a dick, to, dick tattoo? Shit. Man, people be getting injections in them things. Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, so... Only I only have one last thing to conquer on figuring out what I want to do on my stream setup. You know, I've got this whole thing for the gaming. You can still see me on the screen. yippity do. I've got the thing where uh, I show a little slide. Stuff. Um, this layout would have another camera on it or a window capture of some sort. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? Oh, I don't have window open. Duh. But what I want to do is somehow bring in StreamYard into this without using what's called OBS Ninja. Yeah, dude. People should be wanting to tattoo you just as a gift, just to say they got on the on the canvas, man. Lack, I got one tattoo, and it means something to me, and that's it. And um, I don't think the dicks, I don't think it's up for much at this age, let alone a tattoo. So, <laughs> um, what'd y'all think of Bad Batch this week? Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate you, brother. Um, let me go back here. I don't know if that'll pop up. Yeah, there it is up on the screen. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, Bad Batch. If I could spoil it, I'm gonna spoil it because you've had a, you've had all you've had three days to watch it. Um, and not a lot went on. The guys are still trying to get to. Uh, the planet where Omega is at. Omega's trying to break out. I think her sister kind of knows what she's up to, and she's kind of letting her slide because she doesn't agree with what's happening. Um, so, uh, hashtag Jeff Woody Art. Hashtag Jeff Woody Art, people. You got to show them some love. Let, let me Let me do it. Hashtag Jeff Witty Art. Let's see if that worked. Yes, yes. Hashtag him, guys. Show him some love. Um, I've completely like tried to back off on any modern collecting besides these retros. I will get some more of these retros, and I do have the Razor Crest, and I will be bringing that out because I'm going to be revamping the shelf for the Razor Crest soon. And, um, my thing for Star Wars, and I wonder if I can bring this up. I'll show you. S let's see if I can bring this up real quick. Um, it'll come up the it might it might work I don't know let's try it great kit man thank you dude thank you and I and I stole that hashtag 
idea from you anyway. <laughs> so hashtag Ray Kit now. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> oh, the update needs a needs a re ah, son of a bitch. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Um, that's what she said. Let's see. Let, let me go. Let's go. Uh, restoration. Let's try this. Where is it at? Where is it at? Let me get to the website. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Let me share this for you. Show you this bad boy. Um, let me copy that. We'll go over here to this page. There it is. Check this out, though. So they rebuilt it. They rebuilt... Um, don't need me so big in there. That's what she said, too. Uh, so over on my gaming channel, Cool to Know Gaming, um, I was going to play this over there, but I might do it here because it's more Star Wars related. They got instructions for their launcher. You don't even have to own the game anymore. I paid $80 to get a game from 2003 off of Am uh eBay so that I could play this game again because they've emulated it. It was considered dead. Um, there's guilds, cities. They talk about the pop, uh, population. There's a skill calculator so you can figure out where you want to go. Um, resources. They've been updating the shit out of it. Um, I think last year they had around 5,000 players. They've got a Discord. You can... Um, connect now where you can have voice chat while you game um they've got some wiki stuff so so like if you need a guides or things like that um it's all there it's all there do my hold on my palette is too large my canvas Let's see. Let's open her up. Let's open her up here. The skill trees. You can be... You can. I think you have to unlock Jedi. So what I would do is I would do um, Smuggler. And you have to start out as a Brawler. Then you can get into Terrace Kazi, which was like the fighting stances and things for, for Jedi and stuff like that. Um, then you can get into like... You can be a bounty hunter, you can be a pistolier, you can be a ranger, a scout, a sharpshooter, shipwright. So there I am, smuggler. So I'll click on smuggler. Um, Terrace Kazi artist, weaponsmith. So I did smuggler, weaponsmith, and then I would set up like a, like at my house. Um, I would go get like a resource farm and then mine all this stuff I needed to level up weapons and then I would sell the weapons so then people would bring me their weapons to have them upgraded but I would slice them so it's like you're a smuggler so it's like a legal activity so you you have to be away from the eyes of the empire and stuff or you can get arrested or killed on sight and craziness they had Kashyyyk they had Dathomir they added Mustafar later on these guys brought all that back you could be a an armor smith an artisan a freaking entertainer just play music or dance um you could take part in the galactic civil war you could flag yourself to be rebel or empire and then you would be full-time player versus player so you go to the cantina and there'd be a shootout you know so it'd be insane you could be a combat medic so you could group up in a group of people that would have just diverse things so a guy could be a medic one guy could be like the tank that would just go in and, and you know, uh, start shit. Leroy Johnson, that shit, you know. And then you're hurt, somebody help you out, and somebody's a Jedi. And then I thought that they said Jedis would suffer permadeath in the game when it first came out. So it took all this time to unlock. It was this big mystery. And then... Um, they would it would be like permadeath, so people were putting up, you know, crying about that, and they changed it all. But there's theme parks, so you can go into these theme parks, and uh, you can go to like Jabba, 
get missions, Nims, Meat Lump theme park, Rebel theme park, Imperial theme park, and the Witches of Dathomir. Witches of Dathomir was really cool, but you needed to be like a level 80, which was like the highest level, because for a long time it was 72, and they bumped it up to 80. And the thing about Dathomir is not only the witches were hard as hell to defeat, but they had like these giant spiders and all kinds of creatures. I mean, that you'd get off the little shuttle port, forget about it. You're in the shit as soon as you get off. Um, yeah, I would totally boot this up right now, but I need to update. And I would want to probably play it on this computer. It's a gaming computer and then have it. Uh, connect to my MacBook or something to stream um, because it would probably wouldn't well, these days it probably wouldn't use shit for resources but um, yeah but it's 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 not a role playing game but it's kind of uh, got some role playing aspects to it There's buffs. Then then you would come back in from a mission or from battle, and you'd have to go to the cantina and get rest and watch someone dancing. They would give you buffs. Uh, Cap Spalding, thanks for the thanks for the super chat, brother. I just saw that. Sorry, you're the man. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Um. So this new vertical streaming that I was doing last night as a test, guys, listen to this. I just did like 55 minutes and I got like 12 hours of watch time. And they, engagement, I looked at engagement today. They pushed the vertical stream out to 1,000 impressions, but they only pushed my regular stream out to like 300. So... I might be doing both simultaneously again from now on or something. I don't know. It just seems like there's more. Now, I, would, I don't know that there's more engagement, but there's it's definitely getting more reach because the way they've made that new channel for streaming through the Shorts channel, you know, you're going to get scrolled across TikTok style, and then maybe they'll stick around if they see something interesting. Hopefully um, interesting enough to keep somebody's attention for that shit. Um Yeah, baby. But um, my intention is, you know, I feel like it's a comeback. I feel like I'm back. And my intention is to be on here a lot more. And I want to do more streaming because I fucking hate editing. So <laughs> so I want to so I want to stream more. But I want to do some Star I want to do, I just want to be, I love it original trilogy centric you know with the with the figures and the ships and the play sets i'm gonna be doing more stuff there i'll still do my workshop stuff um i'm getting into diorama stuff so tomorrow we're doing the stream here um what time did i schedule that like 9 a.m something like that 9 30 a.m 9 26 i don't know how i put that on there but 9 26 a.m central time uh i have some diorama panels that I'm finishing up for Jose, uh, General Kenobi's bunker. And I didn't like the little stands that I made for him. So we're going to do something special for him tomorrow. So I'll have you guys watch that process, the design process, making them, getting them ready for him. And then I got a couple things to engrave before my next um, craft show, craft fair thing I'm going to go to in May, May the 4th. Um, because I have to go, I, I was gonna, I was thinking about going to Florida to Galaxy's Edge, but my daughter's graduating college. So, what are you gonna do, damn kids? Um, so that'll be fun tomorrow morning. We'll have some coffee. We'll do some designs. We'll make some stuff. Um, and uh, you know, I'll let you guys in on that. Then starting next week, I'm just gonna keep building up, building up, building up. So like, I'll have Galaxies ready to go. Maybe I'll be playing Galaxies one day. Um, talking uh, pricing and collecting I might go make a video at my local shop I'm not going to spend a heck of a lot of time talking about the shows different things like that Like I'm, I'm about collecting and I like gaming and um, I just kind of want to stick to that for a while and just see how it goes you know so let me get rid of this window um, my chat went dead on the 
Oh, yeah, Mr. B. My kids are old, brother. We got a 30-year-old, 26-year-old, 24-year-old, 22-year-old. And I'm only 18, so I don't even know how that shit happened. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... What do we got? Man, I got so many screens. So many screens. Um... I want to do the thing too, so I might just put a I might put a link out there tomorrow too if somebody wants to jump in on Streamyard because I want to try and incorporate that in to this. And then I was doing some stuff on uh, Discord. I want to start doing that again for the members where we had the watch parties and we'd be watching like this week's Ahsoka episode and things like that. Um, I want to bring that back. So I'm gonna be back on here, dude. You're gonna see more of me than you care to see. But uh, it's nice sometimes when people do stream a lot, if you're not keeping up with their schedule, like Ray Kit was in here earlier, I don't keep up with his schedule much because of work and the time change because he's over in uh, England area, somewhere in there. Um, so there's times when he's streaming that I'm working, but I'll catch him on a break or at lunch. And then there's times where I'm home and he's streaming, so... It's nice to catch your favorite streamers out there once in a while doing stuff. And he plays the game Scum Game, amongst others. And um, 39, 36, and 34, Mr. B was busy. Four grandkids. We did not have any grandkids, but one of the kids is dating someone with three kids, and we've been doing stuff with them, so they're kind of our adopted grandchildren. And they're going to like Star Wars, whether they like it or not. So, um, Janine, what's up? Yes, tonight, uh, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, Spice Runners Lounge. Go check that out, too, guys. So anyway, I'm back on the OBS kick, they had a recent update, and then um, Harris Heller, he's sponsored with some guys. They came up with this vertical uh, plug-in for OBS. You just download it, reset it, it comes up as a dock, and then you can do this cool vertical streaming stuff. So it was pretty fun. Did it last night on a whim. It worked. I did it on mobile the other day, and it was crazy. I got off of the stream and had like a hundred and some views. It was nuts. And all the hours. So um, I'm not chasing the hours anymore, but it's just really cool to see where things are going now. Like the potential for somebody that's getting into the game and wants to get their hours up and stuff and, and get their face in front of more, more people. I think that vertical streaming is where it's at. And I also think that... Um, I think YouTube is like Google is like this panther in the woods and they're always ready to pounce on anything that's a TikTok failure like right now the perception that TikTok's going to get canned they're ready to pounce they're holding on to all these little trickery all this trickery and, and wizardry and so they give us the vertical streaming and it's like identical to TikTok stuff and they're going to pounce wow and get all these users to come in that are going to jump ship because they're scared the door is going to slam on them and their chances for internet stardom or whatever, you know. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on in the next, like, six months with all this stuff. But they're adding features all the time. Go into your settings. Look at, like, gifts receiving and... Um, like you can put trailers on stuff, you know. A lot of things people don't do, you don't see much. What's he got? I can't they put that stupid heart in the way and I can't see the comments. Um Captain Just got that I'll snap by stream elements. Okay, I got you. I got you. Let me view it. Let me view it. He said this is the way. It's because he put it in all caps. That's so stupid. But you know what, though? Let 
There you go, Cap. Blue wrench for your troubles. Blue wrench for your troubles, brother. Um, but also tomorrow I'm going to be stopping down at my local vintage shop and see what I can find there. And then as soon as they get this um, fast line done in town to Chicago, it'll only take, because it's like, it's like 50 miles to downtown, but there's tolls and stuff and parking and all that. But there's a bunch of cool shops, toy shops, that I want to check out. Well, the train takes about two hours because of all the stops in between. But they have a new line coming in that's only an hour. And it's just worth the price because you don't have to pay tolls. You don't have to worry about driving. You don't have to pay parking. You can drink on the train, you know, have a, have a cocktail, whatever. So what I want to do is shoot over there after work and do some streams um, in these stores or record some footage and stuff or just, you know, look for my grails, pick some things up. My stream elements is muffed up. Why? My stream elements doesn't do anything. It just says leave a thumbs up and subscribe. The filter is um the the fi the filter what the hell? Now I got to turn shit off. <laughs> uh that, that's hashtag Ray Kit. I don't know why it spelled it like that. Uh, the filter is YouTube. I don't even know. I don't even know. So I want to go over to Chicago. I want to catch some footage over there. I can't turn it off, bro. It's them. It's not me. If you put all caps, you're screwed. I guess you just can't be excited about nothing these days. I corrected it, Chris. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah I want to go over there and check some footage out and come home and throw it on here also uh, trooperhelmet.com Vince Verdi go look at his stuff oh my god does he do some amazing stuff he's got a shop in Chicago I'm going to go over there and do some stuff with him live right in his studio let's see if I can pull it up fast for you that's what she said. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um let me go back over here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, yeah. So here's Vince's stuff. He is so detailed. Like he knows which helmet is from which movie and sometimes even which scene in the movies. It's pretty insane. He does bus. I mean, and his prices are so right. Look at this. 520, 700 for the sand trooper, 800 for the pilot. Not bad, right? And he's all and it's all in the vintage world. He doesn't do a heck of a lot in the newer stuff. Look at these. Look at that. Pretty wicked stuff. He's a super nice guy. Uh, we did some streams. He was on a sh workshop stream with me early on. Um, no, nah, brother, you're not on bunk status here. I gave you the wrench. You're on. You're on dope status now. Uh, yeah, had you. Oh, he does weapons. He does all this stuff in his workshop. So I'd, like, I'd love to go over there. 280. I mean, that's ridiculous. 280 for the E11. Look at that. Look at that. So, yeah, we talked about doing some stuff together. And uh, I'm going to have to go do that because he's pretty awesome. And it's it's old school, man. Can't use the caps, Cap. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. They don't have a filter that says no caps anywhere that I know of. So, offer up, yeah, offer up. Um, wasn't that called like let it go or something like that a long time ago or something? I don't know. But, um, you know, and I and I'll look for stuff for you guys. You know, like I found this at the same antique shop that I found some stuff for Lack because Lack likes this line. 
And I got, I, like I said, I got this guy right here for like $8. And there's an R2-D2 from this series right now sitting at one of them on the rack. I've seen it for like a year. Just sitting there for like six bucks. But I don't collect this line. Just certain pieces from it, you know, like this. I get the ad at things like that. So, um, just message me if you want, want me to look for something for you. And I also need to continue my run on the vintage comic books. I'm still trying to get the, the well, I think it was 106 episodes, uh, 106 issues. And I think I have like 30 of them. So I'm going to be looking for a bunch of those too. But that's it for me. Um, come back in the morning around 9, 9.30. What did I put? 9.26 or whatever tomorrow morning. We'll be in the workshop. I've got Death Star wall panel, diorama panels. We're doing stands for those. And uh, we'll have some coffee and shoot the breeze. And um, I'll just see you guys then. I love you guys. May the force be with you.